just came out of the courthouse a couple of minutes ago. That DNA expert, though, is still testifying inside. He says that the stain found on a pair of sweatpants that was near Sarah Wolf's car matches that of Alan Wade's DNA sample. In fact, he says that Wade is 46 times more likely to win the Powerball twice in a row than it is that that sample came from anyone else other than him. This hat was actually found months before Sarah and Susan Wolf were murdered, but it was a major part of testimony today in court. The hat was discovered in the Wolf's house on Chislett Street after someone broke into the house and stole TVs two months before the killings. Prosecutors have said DNA links it to their neighbor, Alan Wade, who's accused of killing the sisters in February of 2014. Their bodies were found in the basement. Testimony today also focused on these sweatpants ditched not far from where Sarah Wolf's car was abandoned. The person investigators believe killed the sisters caught on camera wearing the pants walking through East Liberty. Police say this grainy surveillance video shows a man taking those pants off. An examiner at the medical examiner's office told jurors today he saw stains on those pants, but tests he ran on the stains turned up negative for blood. And late this afternoon, that DNA expert said that even though that wasn't blood on the pants, it doesn't mean there wasn't DNA in it. In fact, they said that is what they did find in that that matches with Alan Wade's samples. He also said that the same expert found that blood found underneath the fingernails of Sarah Wolf, or rather Susan Wolf, could not be excluded from being Alan Wade's either. The testimony is continuing right now. We're going to get some more information from there and have that for you at 6 o'clock. Reporting live at the Allegheny County Courthouse, Bob Hazen, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.